Hey everybody, Michelle is here. Uh, just want to let everybody know that uh, I just don't want you guys to be concerned about the post I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing things for a reason, okay? And if anybody's been um, following me and understand what my mission is, then you'll understand what my post mean. Uh, I'm just going to go all out on the post because I'm going to try to flush out the cowards, okay? Flush out the cowards because um, I have been unfairly targeted uh, for for something I did not do. And, you know, it just illustrates the ongoing harassment and targeting, targeting of black people, more specifically black women, just because black, because black women are black women. There's no logical, irrational, or reasonable reason, but it seems to always happen it, every year, every generation where people of color, you know, more specifically black women are be, always targeted as a problem for America that, you know, that she's doing something that that's a threat to America. But no, we can't talk about the war. What's what's more of a threat? A black female minding her own business or the wars that we constantly are involved in? So I'm not going to back down. OK, uh, I don't want no apology for none of them because I am old apology for what they put me through. OK, but, you know, I'm going to do things a more effective way. Okay, clearly and effectively uh, get my point across of the ongoing harassment of black Americans and blaming black Americans for the ills of this world, which is a bunch of crap. Okay, now, and I'm going to expose it. Wow, doesn't that sound threatening? You know, a black woman sitting in her own house, minding her own business, not bothering anybody. Tell me what's more of a threat. You know, give, sending weapons to a war. Or a black woman sitting in her own house minding her own business. You tell me that. So I want everyone to come along and listen and learn and, and know what's happening to black culture and how black people are always targeted for things when it makes no sense at all. And it's um, it, 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 there is not even evidence, okay? And it's usually law enforcement that's pushing that, that theory that black people are a problem. Okay, or former state attorneys, uh, you know, white males usually, or senators. Okay, chiefs and sheriffs will do it too. I always want to say that black people are the problem, black culture, you know, and then so they want to ban our books. Okay, and now they're trying to silence me and not have me say anything about it. Let's, put, let's throw that out there, whether it's true or not, and see what happens. So my point is I'm going to flush out the cowards. I'm over it. Okay. There's a lot more going on in this planet than to be targeting people that are innocent and upstanding citizens of this country. And I'm not going to stand for it anymore. Okay. I'm going to help people. But at the same time, I'm going to protect my own. Okay. Like I said, I'm not doing anything. Okay. I'm a former first responder. Let's make that clear. Okay, so I know what I'm talking about and I'm not trying to scare people and I'm not even threatening people. I just want to be a free black woman who's minding her own business in her own place of residence and not be a target as a threat to this country. All right, stay tuned.